Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with, uh, uh, with uh, the Grandmaster mode enabled. Today we're going to revisit the Stun Brothers and as such we have prepared exactly the same team as the last time. Jaranx, Roby, One, Gnome and Jiro are going to go in and are hopefully going to disable all of uh, the enemies. One gnome needs the most XP, 180. Uh, Roby and uh, Jiro need um, quite a bit as well and we need to be careful that Jarenx doesn't hit the, uh, the level 9 too fast. So that's really where things have started. Still thinking about uh, that <coughs> potential damage over time team. Um, so we're going to do this mission, then I'll start collecting bloom seeds and we'll build up that damage over time team and see if we can do anything meaningful with it. Alright, without further ado, let's go. Are you certain the bloom is here, Ektar? This is a bustling industrial world. The omens are plain. There is bloom spawn below. They corrupt the minds of the weak and the unworthy. Purge the unclean. All right, landed. And I remember that map. I think we've played it a couple of times. Uh, just be careful here, as that will spawn enemies. Good. Everybody moves up. And we are moving now. Having a solid position here. Last time dozens of Dozens of cultists came out of uh, this door. Well, not exactly dozens of. Not exactly dozens of uh, cultists this time. So, starting to move here, interrupt him, moving up to here, I want the seats. Very good. I have claimed this wretched bloom essence. Litany of hate. There you go. My uh, blade is ever what's ready. Once we're at it. For Titan. Just opening all of this a little bit more good let's try that again stun grenade also known as the holy hand grenade and Let's go for another one. Oh, wounded. My blade is yours. Unleash me. Me. 
All right, move up. It's done. Very good. Move up and kill. There's the execute. Another four strike. Standing ready. Feel my All right, he's almost dead. Brilliant. And let's execute. Good. For first encounter, not too bad. We're moving closer. Yes. And turn. I wonder if I could teleport myself into there somehow this should not trigger but give us line of sight Trigger, but give us line of sight. And that's good enough for me. There we go. The grandfather heeds my prayers. It is an enemy most worthy. Alright, just stay there. Fantastic. Don't move too far apart from one another. Permission to engage, oh, beautiful. Commander. Beautiful. We're extracting seeds. I pull a seed from this rot. Another foul seed claimed. Wow, I think that's one of the best psychic shrieks I've ever hit. Five stun on four of these guys. Oh my lord, that was good. All right, so another stun. And we're moving in and we're just going to execute like no one's business. Uh, Alright, let's Executed. 
Let me just tune down the volume a little bit. All right. Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy. Standing ready. And our chaplain is just waltzing through them. Five executions. Everybody got willpower back. And we got tons of AP. Your orders? Good, time to keep the remaining experience no to our ranged damage dealer. Standing ready. I'm here to serve. Just want to make sure that we're earning experience somewhat on equal footing. And to be fair, one gnome takes a bit of the short end of the of the sp uh, no stick match. here. The Mainly because all of the melee guys are getting the execution kills, and he's getting almost nothing. the Emperor. Good, there the we go. Shed we save. That was like 40, 50 experience for him. We need to what do a little bit better. Quote Joey, uh, Joey something. Uh, mm, the fitness influencer, you need to do better. <laughs> All right, got a couple of baddies coming in from here. Out. Chaplain moves up. We can't overwatch, so we're just going to let it happen. Let's go. Lord let it rip. God's minions. We gotta be careful not to trigger that. Your command. One into two. Blessed ammunition depleted. We need to reload. That's unfortunate. 
We bring death. Mm. I am here to serve. Unleash me. Good. Moves in. Executes. No demon shall avoid its fate. My blade is yours. Still can't reach them. Unbelievable. Okay. The cool. Emperor lights our path. That helps us to stun him, and I think the chaplain will be good enough to just execute. Very good. Regain. Regains willpower for everyone. So can we finally reach him? Oh yeah, we can. to serve the taste back field foe wounded feel my good before we're killing him which we're going to do make no mistake Yes, Commander. Taking position. We're going to take extra seats. My blade is yours. Back field. <laughs> Their flight is ended. Finally, a little bit of extra XP on <clears throat> our range damage dealer. Mortimer. Seeking the tainted. Your orders? Good. We're moving in. Standing ready. And I'm trying to sort of get into there without triggering something. Okay, this is good enough. Let's go. Oh, nice. They get an entire turn. <coughs> that was not our plan. That was not our plan. guy that increases the stun value of everyone else. 
hate it. You hate to see it. Alright, this will be one of those legendary turns, hopefully. Alright, are we done? <coughs> Come on, game, anytime now. I think I need to out that four of those and hopefully I can reproduce the exact same effect. All right, we could not reproduce uh, the effect one by one. Not very surprising. Let's try our best to <clears throat> do it nonetheless. I would have wanted to play that uh, round just to show you how you uh, basically can relatively easily overcome these obstacles. But okay, it is for this now. I have claimed this wretched bloom essence. As you will. Cool. We get a lot of seeds here. I pull a seed from this rot. Now, for starters, word of the Emperor. Every single one of you took three stun. Love it. Can we hit three? No, we cannot. Four cannot be stunned. Four. We bring death. Four. So that's a double stun. You know what they say, better a double stun than a double standard. Let's go. Moving in. And time to get some AP back. This guy cannot be stunned. Okay, cool. Well, Mortimer. moving in, optimizing our turn. Well, I didn't. Did not expect him to go out like that, but okay. He cannot be stunned either. But we can hit him very well. What is your will? There we go. Down to five, which is good enough for You're us honest? here to uh, first of all optimize our actions because we 
I don't want to waste a single action just by moving. Might as well use this AoE damage and move at the same time. There you go. Worked like a charm. And then... This guy dies. I am the wrath of Xyphos. Plenty of executions, I think. Now we're just going to finish this. One, two, three, and four. Could have had that turn. Plus the chaos space Return marines here, not a problem. I shall attend to the remainder below. You have been judged. Not a problem. <clears throat> I wonder what triggered that that strange game uh, stalling. Well. Be it as it may, I hope we get a couple of promotions. Good, so what do we have here? Medic High School. Mm. Chef Kiss, very good. Nine hit points immediately, purify. All right, it's very good. Uh, Strife Breaker, damage, uh, willpower, yeah, not really. Focus, movement speed. Mm. I think we're fine. Alright, so one four, one. Uh, these uh, two are. Well. One gnome has caught up, but as you can see, still a little bit behind. Good, we're now getting unstoppable conflection. Whenever using a psychic ability, gains one damage, and that's range damage as well. <coughs> cool. Well, what are we going to do? We have successfully managed to repel <clears throat> two or even three in a row. We can't reach that. So a little bit of bloom spawn will happen there. Let's just double check how our spawn looks like. Yeah, that's still a bit too low. Although I appreciate that we finally have purple seeds. I will tell you what I will do, <clears throat> because this is a decent breaking uh, point or fast forward point. I will farm a little bit of the seeds and try to um, try to start that new extra team, the damage over time team. Still not a hundred percent sure how we're going to do it, but <clears throat> give me. Give me a chance to build it up and uh, think about what the what the right uh, ingredients for that uh, team are. In the meantime, I'm just going to upgrade the ship, and really that's it. Steady course, nothing super specific. Um, I would end today's episode uh, here and give you a rundown on uh, potentially the next hundred, 150 days. Um, until we get to a point where we hopefully have that new team up and running and I can showcase a new team. Uh, by that time the Stun by that time the Stun brothers are very likely 
already level nine and uh, out uh, out of uh, play, but that's okay. I think we've uh, seen three, four missions of the Stun Brothers, and I think we can all agree the team is very, very strong and is a competitive team. I would uh, say the melee ball team uh, so far has been the strongest because damage always works. The stun team is the second strongest but only by a, uh, a margin. I think if I was to combine it with <clears throat> a teleportation librarian then I could see that it even becomes stronger than, uh, than that. I could, in my mind, I could maybe even uh, combine it, uh, combine both of them uh, together because uh, with the Apothecary uh, you do have uh, the plus three stun um, enchantment and if I simply take out the Justicar of our current melee um, madness team and uh, replace them by say that's actually a good question I don't know maybe we don't even need to replace them we're just taking that stun hammer on the Justicar uh, and enchant it and then the Justicar is being teleported right into into the enemies is starting to, to stun enemies uh, and then uh, that will create more AP <clears throat> I think well, that that, uh, w that would be an upgrade uh, to the C team without necessarily a downgrade and I could use the stun bolter on the uh, librarian maybe I'm even doing that because with that little adjustment we do have um, yet a complete new option the librarian uh, can stun the Justicar can uh, stun and we do have those um, brain mines which theoretically we can uh, we can use as well um, we do have one terminator armor that allows us to to get three charges of them so if i was to change uh, the justicar layout a little bit uh, we could even give him uh, the the brain mines uh, for extra aoe stun uh, damage so that in itself or for for that uh, purpose maybe even the uh, the apothecary because healing becomes less and less of an issue to be uh, to be fair so we don't really need the healing skulls as much um, or the healing servitors we could easily replace them <clears throat> by by those mines and give him the armor so then the apothecary could uh, stun uh, with stun grenades the librarian can stun uh, basically with with his stun ability um, and since we have so so many uh, uh, warp points, it, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the Justicar can uh, can stun, and you can relatively easily clean up. So, opening opening that up, I think, will be a huge huge contribution uh, to the damage output of uh, the team overall, because that stunning thing seems to be. Uh, strong, but I think a combination of the uh, melee damage and the stunning might be the right uh, play uh, play for the quote unquote optimal team setup. Then the support fire team, I would give it a kind of medium uh, efficiency. You can definitely uh, work uh, with that, but uh, the melee madness and stun is typically stronger. And now I want <clears throat> maybe a damage over time. Um, tanky a tanky team and i'll need to think about how how we're going to build that up so give me some time um, currently my thought process is uh, purifier um, plus apothecary uh, plus a paladin uh, in uh, in the front line but i'm not 100 percent sure whom we're going to take in as the fourth member of uh, said uh, team maybe it is a librarian uh, with uh, the overall, uh, with the overall uh, defense and, and, and stunning uh, capabilities, we're going to find out. Uh, I'll let you know. For now, thank you very much for watching. See you later in the next episode. Bye bye.